Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hey, the day later. Hope you're long your way. Hey, 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 hey. <sighs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time of the day this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Steve Bay, and Jackie Coy, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. It's Chrissy Anacon, Chris God, Superstar, all oh, this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here, too. How gross it with you? Hey, 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 it's a Saturday. 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 Saturday, 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 it's Saturday today. <laughs> Swing in. Oh, we're going to do a check in with my counselor. i going to send her a message. It's getting harder. It's getting harder. I didn't finish with a smart ass comment. Father said when I said there was changes talking to the teacher, he says, yeah, for the better. They have in no way whatsoever been for the better. No way whatsoever have they been for the better. You know, and all the good habits that I had was helping them with gone bad habits. Their health has gone down. I'm worried about their overall whole well-beings. The physical health, the mental health, their emotional health, all of that going not in the go way, okay? It's not my poor children. And I don't want them to feel responsible for it. Because those other ones, you know? It's like they say that all the stories we write will either have them as the victim or the hero, but never the villain. They don't claim any. Anything that they've done, any mistakes. Oh, I made that mistake, but you made me do it. Right? Yeah, I hurt you, but you made me do it. Oh, no, that hurt your feelings because you took it the wrong way. It's not my fault. It's not my fault the way you take those things. Oh, don't you make me your punching bag. As they're like, <laughs> at you. Don't you browbeat me as they're up and down one side of you. Anyways. <laughs> so I really, I really miss my children. And you know what? I have a human body. Is worn out and this trauma, the psychological abuse, and all that does actually cause physical damage. Some of it that cannot be repaired. We got to work on it, we got to live with that forever now. Right? That doesn't mean we can, you know, just keep being victims. victims. I'm not just going to sit here and be victim. I'm going to cry. Yes, this hurt. But if I keep myself down, then I'm keeping myself down. My children need their mother. And who's going to be there? I'm building up my children's mother because they have no mother. Okay. Anyways. You and me. I feel the bitter and choose to grow wiser. Hey. And you know what? It's always easy. But it's worth it. Okay? It's always worth it to put in that work. It is. It is. It is. Don't just take my word for it. Go try for yourself. Put in that work. That in work. Okay? Inwards. Okay, but not forsaking all others, because we're doing that so we can connect with others, so we can have those honest connections, those healthy connections, those healthy relationships. We all need to do our part for that, right? Because relationships are two-way streets, right? They ain't one-way street, two-way, three-way, whatever, you know, how many relationships you got. But, and you're the common denominator in all your relationships, so we always begin within. Okay, do our part. Rest is not idleness, and to lie sometimes on the grass, under the trees, on a summer's day, Listening to the murmur of water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time. John Lubbock. While you eat lunch, take a few minutes to sit quietly outside and listen to the nature around you. That's at 25. There we go. If it's a nice day in your area. I know, isn't it up here in the northern hemisphere? We're heading in the fall, but out in the southern hemisphere, you guys are going into the spring and summer now? I don't know. Where is you? Where is ya? You sit quietly outside, enjoy that nature around you. Oh, no, what's that for you? You know, my big backyard, my yard around here is the worst it's been since I've been here. 
I mean, there's physical things that I'm dealing with. The other ones want to write it off as my mental health, but of course, physical affects <laughs> your mental health, right? And of course, uh, psychological uh, abuse affects your mental health, you know, the gaslighting and narcissist smear campaigns and stuff like that. That can affect your health for sure, for sure, and affect your other relationships too. But then, Right? If somebody's going and telling the stories and that's affecting your relationship, was that the relationship you thought you had? You know what I mean, Julie Jane? Like, I thought people really knew me. I thought my loved ones really knew me. But only a few ever called. Yeah, from the horse's mouth. Okay, now, now that reminds me of like, ah, I'm ready to go get my info from the horse's mouth and not the horse's ass. Thank you very much. I know I've seen that somewhere before, but I just love that. I get my info from the horse's mouth, not the horse's ass. All right? Okay. Uh, I don't know. What is that for you? We got joy on the bottom. We're tapping into that joy. Have you been doing that? How have you been allowing yourselves and opening up to experiencing more joy in your life? Sitting outside, watching those clouds, being joyful with that. Just having carefree, not a care in the world. I don't know. That small signals. What is that intent? Are we intending to be lazy, intending this rest to uh, rejuvenate, right? Or are we going to sit there? Because what if we just sit there and go, oh, my gosh, I'm not getting anything done. And that whole time, we're not really resting. We're, you know, it's the intention to rest or to give yourself shit for not doing anything. Let me sit down and then I can show myself how I'm not doing anything, what I didn't get done and all that stuff like that there. I don't know. What is that for you? All right. Tap into that inner knowing. What is your intention? That butterfly. We're going through these transformations right oh look at that that's a nine no four nine that makes a three sorry i thought that was a 47 so i thought we were going seven eight nine there almost i thought that was a three excuse me whatever eight nine five eight nine whatever tap into that inner wisdom see what, what what stage are we into right we go through these different stages the caterpillar you know we go through all the eating and eating eating get ready to go into the into the cocoon or to chrysalis and turn to goo before we transform into that butterfly. So what are those stages that we're in? It could be the eating, getting that knowledge. We're in that rest stage. So it's that rest and digest uh, in that chrysalis, right? And that takes some time. That's what I feel. And I'm going right to goo right now, right? Going back and purifying that all. I need to have that patience with myself as well. Is that a 32? And then we have a 23 there, the smoke signals. Have patience and look at that self, right? What's our intentions, right? Right, we're intending to go right, but we keep turning left, right? Oh, no. We intend to grow a garden, but we don't get out there and till the soil and plant the seeds, you know? It won't grow. What you don't sow will not grow. Okay. The seeds ain't just going to plant, you know, ain't going to grow when we just sit there and look at the seed and wish they would grow. They need to be put into the soil, right? Oh no, what's that say to you? So let's have a look at that and let's purify. Let's purify intentions. Maybe maybe they got clouded up because maybe we we're intending to do stuff because it was for somebody else. And we didn't feel good about that, right? Maybe we're feeling resentful because we said yes when we wanted to say no. I don't know. So let's purify that. Let's purify that. We want to intend move through life with love and with joy. We're intending to experience more joy, but we keep saying, oh, I can only be happy and joyful once this is over once that happens once this happens once i have this much money or whatever so we're putting all those so the intentions is to be happy now but we're putting those conditions and restrictions on it oh i'll be happy then you know i don't know what does that all say to you beautiful beings is this a time to rest i might take a day to myself tomorrow i don't know i was thinking about that today but i know when i don't do the daily crumb it makes me feel off for the day too so, I don't know. We'll see. But if uh, I don't see me on here, I'll be back Monday for sure. And uh, I might just take that. I don't know. Oh, no. We're growing. We're growing. We're growing. I'm just so tired. Just so tired and exhausted. I'm one, one human being doing basically it all on my own. Got moral support and encouragement, words of encouragement and stuff like that. But the physical body is some, um, uh, it's not what it was. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> right? I'm not the baby anymore. It's grown. We change. Bodies change. That's that's part of this human experience. All right. The only thing constant is change. And that's okay. All right, beautiful babes. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Fully, fully true. Don't let this world miss out and all it's you. 
so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful day. Love you all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.